Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Zoom has a major update if you use breakout rooms. Uh, I'm going to cover this update. It happened in Zoom 5.4.9. I'm on a PC and we're going to test this on the PC, but Zoom supports files say this also works on the Mac. So one of the issues with breakout rooms in Zoom, because they work great, is if I send people to the breakout room and they ask me to join the room or if I just join myself, Zoom has the waiting room. I don't know as the host that someone is in the waiting room if I was in a breakout room with other people. So they could wait there for a really long time. Zoom has fixed that with 5.4.9. Let's go test it so I can show you how it works. There's chapters down below, so if you want to jump around in here, you can, because I'm going to do a quick review of how the three ways that breakout rooms work when you're in Zoom, and the fourth way to send people to the breakout room, which is not in Zoom. So here we go. Katie's in my meeting. I'm the host. Breakout rooms are at the bottom. How many breakout rooms do you want? Sorry, I was playing in here. Let me do a recreate. I'm going to do four rooms and hit recreate. So now I got four rooms. It automatically put Katie in room one, but I could move her to another room. I'm going to open up all the rooms. Katie is going to head to that room right now. So she should disappear in just a second. There we go. So Katie's in a breakout room and I am sitting here in the main session or the main room myself. Katie's group act like it's act like there's multiple people in here. They say, Hey, can you come join our room? I say, sure. So here I go. I'm leaving. I'm the host. I just left the main session. I'm headed to one of the breakout rooms. Here we go. <laughs> so now look up at the top left of my screen. It says zoom meeting room one. I'm in there with Katie and all the other people. Now here's, here was the issue. Another person comes in to join right now. Previously as the host, I had no clue that this person was sitting in the waiting room. <laughs> there it goes. So now as the host, just to be clear about this, I'm the host. I've got that message that you see on the screen right there. You used to not get that. No one else in this breakout room is seeing that message except me. So here we go. I'm going to admit Carol Martin to the main session. And Carol has now hit the main session. If I had pre-assigned breakout rooms, which you don't do in Zoom in a meeting, when you schedule a Zoom meeting, on the web, one of the options you have, and only on the web have I seen this, is to pre-assign people to a room using a CSV file. I've already made a video on that. The description's down below and the description's up there in the top right corner if you want to go click and view that now. Anyway, so look, and I've also got this really cool message for breakout rooms. One person unassigned, I can click it. Hey, there's Carol Martin right there. Let's go and assign to... Let's put Carol in room one, and now Carol's going to be joining us here. Carol just got a message on her computer that they want you to go and join room one. And let's just make sure she pops in there. So there you go. So now I can also, as you know this as the host, I can easily leave this room. That's in the bottom right corner. Make sure you leave the breakout room. Make sure you don't end the meeting. So I'm going to leave the breakout room. Perfect. If you have any questions about breakout rooms, because you can automatically assign, you can manually assign, and you can also allow people to jump from room to room. Those are the three methods you can do in Zoom, and that fourth method is that CSV file. That only works, I've found, from Zoom on the web. Any comments, questions, please put them below. Thank you for your time. Feel free to subscribe and have a wonderful day. Thank you.